to my YouTube channel. So I was gonna do a natural daylight video, but honestly, it's just it's just not gonna happen because my neighbor is in and it's just a bit awkward having the blinds open and me talking to a camera. I know it is my job, but I still get embarrassed. So yeah, the ring light's out. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today's video is just kind of like a little catch up, but I've just got some really good buys the last few weeks and they're all like Primark, TK Maxx, all the like fun, cheap places, which is obviously my favorite. So I thought I'd show you a few of the little bits that I've got because by the time this uploads, all this stuff will still be in. So let's start with, to be fair, I, I am not gonna lie, I'm a little bit obsessed with TikTok shop and I buy numerous things off there. So I'm not gonna show you the haul of the TikTok shop because I think a TikTok shop haul is definitely for another time, but I have one item that's really cute from there that arrived today, so I'll show you that now. So I've never bought underwear from TikTok shop ever, but this, I thought, you know what, it's gonna be rubbish quality, but I was like, if it's not, I could just, you know, keep ordering underwear, even though I must have over like 100 pairs of underwear. But I like this set because it's actually good quality. It's like super cute lace, right? but also has like it, the blocked out color there, which is great when you're shooting content. Um, and I just think the bra is super pretty. I can't really explain to you, but in real life, the material is actually super, super nice. I like, don't know if you can see, but like stretchy. So yeah, I thought this is super cute for content and work, but also like to wear under like a shirt, this would be super cute. This was literally like less than a tenner. I think it was like 6 99 something like that. So yeah, that is my first Bye. Okay, and then next up, of course, we have Primark. I have been trying to get my hands on a pair of these boots for so bloody long. And I saw them on TikTok initially, like, autumn needs. And I was like, well, every time I go to Primark, it's not there. I got them. I think these are so cute. So, to be fair, every autumn and every winter, I do always wear... Wow. Every autumn, I do wear leather black boots, but I've never worn these, and I thought, you know what, these are so cute. I've always wanted a nude pair, but like, I don't want to get a super expensive pair because they're nude. It's wet, it's cold, it's England, they're gonna get dirty. So, I bought these to wear with like a little like knitted dress, or even like jeans, or just leggings, or whatever I fancy. But these are super cute, and these were £25, which are a bargain, because a lot of the new boots you see online are like 60 plus, and I'm just, just not doing it. Then I saw these, I actually saw these at the checkout in Primark, and these were together for this and this for five, six, seven, seven pounds. So to match the boots, I got, and also because I've booked New York and it's gonna be really cold, I thought this would be really cute, so like, a knitted headband with, I've just messed my hair up, matching gloves, but you know the gloves that are like super cute because they have the little thumb holes. How do I find it? Okay, I wanna show you, but my hand's not going in there because I've not pulled the label off yet. But you know like, it'll go up to there and then you have a little slip for the thumb hole. So I thought that matching headband, nude boots, adorable. Then obviously, me be me, I saw this and I thought, they were, that would look great for TikToks. So, they've got this like big section in Primark at the moment, whoa, that is like university names and stuff like that. So, this is, how much is this? Yale University, 12 pounds, but I thought this will be so good for TikToks. I just, it just will. So it's like, it says Yale obviously on the front, it's super stretchy material. And it's little shorts, it's like a unitard all in one with shorts. But I thought that would be perfect. And also, in summer, that with like a big oversized hoodie with my trainers, it's just cute. It might be a little bit small to wear in public, but I could wear it with like an oversized shirt that covers my bottom in public. But then for content, it'll be great, so yeah. Love this. Okay, then I went to the underwear section because why the hell not? Now, my sexy underwear, I don't tend to get from Primark, like the sexy, seductive sets. But for like comfy, cozy, loungewear vibe, Primark is your girl. So this set, how much was this set? Oh, the price is ripped off, but I reckon it's literally like five pounds. So how cute is the top? The top is like this. I like this little detail. I've not had one like this before. So I'm, I think with because of this, it's gonna give the boobs a nice like hoist up, which we love. And the thong, we love it. We love to see it. Loungewear, cozy, flattering. 
It's why I bought it. It actually flicked out my eye. And then we come on to the PJ section. So my pajama drawer is currently broken because I stuffed so much in there. I've got fluffies, I've got silkies, I've got shorts, I've got trousers, I've got jumpers, onesies. But I promised myself, and I haven't done it yet, if I buy a pair of pajamas from Primark, I have to bin a pair. So I haven't been to pay yet, but I will. I just thought this pattern was really cute. I, if you know Primark, the top look at that. Cozy, stretchy, and so soft. I don't know what this pattern's called. It reminds me of like, you know those like blue and white kettles you get? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like paisley? Par not parsley. Do you know what I mean? Like that pattern. That's the pattern. So I got this because it's like a cute little nighty. You can't really see, but it's like a little dress. So I got that as like, I love wearing that the little um, tight nighties, that are like little dresses. I love them for getting ready. You know, like when you're going out for dinner or going out for drinks, like I love to have something to put on around the house and it's usually one of those. And then, dun, 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 I got the pajama version because it's winter and it's cozy. Um, so I got the bottoms, which are the exact same. So I've literally got winter version, summer version, summer version, the tiny little cute nighty, And then I've got the trouser version, because comfy bumpy with the matching top. So it's kind of like hanging off the hanger because I've been ragging it around my bag, getting ready to film this YouTube for you guys. But yeah, all I'm going to say is, this is so soft and so cute. So this is 14, so these are a little bit more pricey, but the quality is amazing. And... If you're like me and you get your PJs from Primark, they last you years, so worth the money, I just need to get rid of some. And then I got this really cute other underwear set. So I'm actually, the last time I was on here, I did a weekly vlog, didn't I? Got a spray tan, it lasted seven to eight days, amazing. It's Tuesday today, I'm getting sprayed on Thursday night because I'm going out the weekend for the first time with my girls, like my home friends. It's four months since we went on a girls' holiday, but the last time I went on a big night out in Leeds was like five, six months, so I'm getting sprayed on Thursday, ready for that. And when I have had the spray tan, Friday I'm gonna do a work day, and I thought this is gonna look beautiful. This set, the whole set was nine pounds. This is gonna look beautiful when I've had my spray tan. So it's like underwear slash pajamas, but look how pretty the color is. And it's like a little, like a little crop top. And it comes with the matching thong. I love this. I think this is so pretty. And also next time I go on a holiday, like a hot holiday, whenever that'll be, I just think this will look really cute on like holiday pictures with a tan absolutely love and then it's not that exciting and i've actually just realized it's in the other room so i'm not gonna run and get it but managed to get my hands on the favorite ever i've actually got it on today the favorite ever tinted moisturizer radiant finish by primark it is five pounds it was went viral on tiktok i got one bottle i couldn't get another bottle for literally three months all of summer it sold out because of tiktok i go to every primark and they'd be like tinted moisturizer I'd be like yeah they'd be like TikToks made it sold out. I was like, can everyone just stop buying it, please? Because it's actually been the best thing I've ever used on my skin. But obviously, yeah, it was sold out. So this is, I ha I've finished my first bottle that I used. Had a whole summer without it. Was very upset. Had a different shade, but it didn't suit me. Four suits me because it's like medium tan, but with like a yellowy tinge. Because I feel like I've got a yellow undertone. But I actually managed to get this and another one the other day. So I now have two backup bottles. But honestly... This is the best stuff ever. I don't really like a heavy full coverage foundation. Um, so this is your girl, if you like it. It is buildable. And by the time you put on like your bronzer, your concealer on top, it is so nice. Recommend. And I also got one of the brow pencils because the Primark, Primark, Primark brow pencils are so good. Um, they've brought out new branding. I'm not sure. It's like pink packaging. So I think it's going to be the same, but hopefully it'll be good. But yeah, like I've got Primark brow pencil on today. Primark beauty section right now is just killing it. I don't know who makes it. I don't know what factory it's being made in, but it's amazing. Honestly, don't waste your pennies. This is a fiver. This is a fiver and it is one of the best things I've used. Then, of course, just because you have to. Who, who, who can walk into Primark and not buy a pair of pants from Primark? Like every girl has the thongs from Primark. I thought these were really cute because they're like ribbed. Can you see? They're like ribbed and the thongs, so yeah. Brown and then like a mauve colour and a nude colour. That is Primark out of the way. I've just realised I have to leave my house in less than five minutes. Because I'm going to my nephew's music therapy session before the gym. I was going to go drop some clothes off at the charity shop that have been in my boot for a week. Because by the way, I've got a new thing. So... Yeah, I'm meant to be bidding a pair of PJs when I buy a new pair. That's not happened yet, but it will. But I have this new thing of like... I definitely am a hoarder with my clothes. I can't get rid of clothes. I'll be like, no, no, I'll rewear that. And then it'll stay in my cupboard for three years. I'll look at it, take it out and be like, I don't need it. Then I'm like, maybe I'll need it. 
So I've got a new thing, once a month, I have to get rid of two full bags of stuff that I don't wear. Because honestly, there is stuff in my cupboards from over, over 10 years ago that I don't wear. I'm like, maybe one day I will need that. Rhiannon, no, you don't. And the rate that I go to Primark, <laughs> treat myself to new treats, I definitely need to get rid of it because I genuinely just don't have the space to store any I, There's nowhere for it to go. My house is going to explode. The windows are going to pop open and everything's just going to blow out. So I'm going to have to do a charity run another day. Um, but by the way, I always give my clothes to a charity named Martin House because that is where my nephew goes for respite. And the thing I love about giving to that charity is when you give your bags of clothes in, you get given like, not a loyalty card, but like a little card with your name and a barcode. So every time you drop clothes off, they scan uh, your name. And every sale, like every three to six months you get an email of how much you've made the charity so I took in like three bin liners a few months ago and I got an email to say that I've made the charity 280 pounds and I was like that is so much money like to say that I could have just you know got bin those clothes or whatever like it's actually you know giving to any charity is amazing but I think it's really nice when you give to charity to actually get told by the charity themselves they like keep a log of it like by the way you've made our charity this much money it just it Makes you feel really, really good about yourself. So yeah, I'm really excited to drop those clothes off. This is not, this is not Primark or TK Maxx, but I thought I'd show you because how cute is this dress? This is H&M. This was 1999. It's got little like cute detailing there. There, it's really, really stretchy. Uh, you probably can tell by now I only wear stretchy clothes because I hate clothes that are too tight and like resistance like there's no stretch that's just not me but look how cute this dress is for winter and it has the white detail on the bottom i think that is so do you know what that could be a potential christmas day outfit with like black tights black boots like a messy bun ah. you know sometimes you just see a dress and you're like really you don't need it and i'm like no but that is so cute i love that and then ever so quickly because oh my god i do not have long tk maxx i saw this coat and i thought Little black puffer, cannot go wrong. They had it in so many different colours, but I always wear black. I'm just, that's my favourite kind of thing. But I like how it's got the nude on the inside and it's got a gold zip because I wear gold, not silver. And honestly, this coat is so cute. I'm, try I'm trying, trying to unzip it because I'm stressed about the time. Uh, look how cute that is. Like, I'm going to show you it because I saw this and I was like, this, okay, ignore the double chins. My hair's getting stuck. How much was this? This obviously is going to be a bit pricier. £24.99. This coat was 25 quid. 25 quid. And you know what? I actually bought myself a really nice coat last year. I've worn it once. I, buy, I treat myself to a nice coat and I don't, I don't wear it. I prefer this kind of stuff. So I need to sell that coat. But look how cute this is for a winter coat. And do you know what? They only had it in a size large. And I was like, oh, I need a smaller or medium. But guys, this is a large. It's like a small. It's really cute. Little puffer coat. Love. Love how it's like nude in there. How cute. 25 quid, guys. 25. Can we deal? Do you know what? TK Maxx, I rarely go into TK Maxx because when I do, I come out with a coat that I didn't need. But I'm going to wear this all autumn, winter, so 25 quid. Then, of course, I got distracted at the checkout. I'm, I am that person. You know, the marketing is like you, they try to get people at the checkout while you're waiting to pay. Like, oh, could do with those Tic Tacs. Or, oh, those socks, need them. Or, oh, I need that back massager in Primark. Primark does that. Well, I saw this. I love the smell of that plastic. I don't know what it is. Tender Love and Carry. No, ha! <laughs> Tender Love and Carry. I just thought this was a cute makeup bag. This was £9. I like the leopard print, the black leopard print, and I thought that's just quite a decent size. And obviously I've got New York coming up, and I wanted a new makeup bag. I haven't treated myself to a new makeup bag in a few years. It must be like two, three years, so. Nine pound, you can't go wrong. Next up, we have, this is the most random haul. Like, what can I even title this haul? It's just like an October shopping random as hell haul. I found this candle at TK Maxx. It's the Flower Shop Caramel Bread Pudding. I thought, that sounds gross, I don't even like bread pudding. But, oh my God, this smells like a mixture of caramel and Christmas. No, you don't understand. It's like you open that, Santa's house. I'm not even joking. I don't like bread pudding or whatever the hell that is, but it was nine pounds. It's quite a big hefty one. It's pretty as well, and it smells 
unreal and then obviously another thing that got me at the checkout but i i don't regret buying this because it is halloween month look why do i feel like i'm doing an asmr channel <laughs> but look how cute it has got a little bum on it as well but this was only a fiver reduced reduced and i'm gonna put this like on my dining room table, I have like a glass tray with like a diffuser, a little uh, candle wax melt that I always light on a night um, and like a gold giraffe. So this is gonna go on my dining room table for October because it's Halloween and I think it's really cute. And then last but not least, because I was meant to set off at three and guess what? It's one minute past three. I'm sat with my ring light recording a YouTube, not even in my gym stuff, but this I got from Boots. So if you are looking for a good setting spray, definitely recommend this the one i've been using prior to this is the charlotte tilbury that i got off tiktok shop on discount but they just never have it back it is very good but my best friend who's a makeup artist she uses this not only does it smell like a spa like you know just like fresh she's done my makeup a few times at like 10 a.m whereas i've done a whole content day from 10 a.m all the way to like 7 8 and i've gone on a night out makeup's not moved so I cannot recommend this enough. You can get it from Boots. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist by e.l.f. And it smells amazing. So now I've just run out my Charlotte Tilbury. This is my new go-to. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up because I literally... Oh, how can I forget as well? Really quickly. These are my favourite makeup wipes. Boots own either the blue packet, which I think is sensitive skin, or the pink packet, which is just the original best makeup wipes also i forgot to show you from tk maxx before i go i'm gonna be so late how cute is this i got this fleece how cute it's like a blue cozy fleece from berg house which is like that sport you make and i got it for chris as like an early birthday present look how cute it is i honestly think that is so so nice like just cozy autumn walks with the dogs I saw it for him, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. When I go to like TK Maxx or Primark or whatever, don't usually look out for Chris. Sounds selfish, but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I just get so involved in the shop and so excited that I don't tend to look for him. But I looked and I saw that and it was the last one in TK Maxx. Last size, last one of that. And hopefully he loves it because it's gonna be like an early birthday present. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed today's random October buys. I'll be back soon with like a day in the life or a weekend or a weekly vlog, but I will be back um, and I'll speak to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having a great month. See you soon.